Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Or, alternatively, welcome back to the Magnus Archives, episode 164, The Sick Village. Yeah, and there's the water dragon. They're getting tag teamed here by an epidemic and a water dragon siege. Oh, the price of fish has gone through the roof. Real pathologic hours in here. We don't even have enough yen to buy a single delicious egg. Finding snow. Combining purity of snow and the spirit of work. The spirit of work. Huh, I never read that line before. But yeah, that's the blinding snow fishing rod for 5,000 yen. There's also a marlin rod. Uh, some charcoal, which I think might be useful at some point. Uh, not too much else here. But you can see there's plenty left uh, to spend our money on. And even more things popping up. There's also a lot of treasure in this village, and we are going to take all of it. It's fine, don't worry about it. These people don't need it right now. We will unburden them. Oh, the samurai dandy! Samurai dandy, are you part of the anarcho dandyist society? The one true form of anarchism? <laughs> oh, look at this cool guy. The weapon dealer. What are you doing out in the mist like this? Now's hardly the time to be wandering about. Yeah, and there's the cursed zone. Himiko shut herself up in her palace? Shouldn't it be the job of our leader to help us through this? Anyway, business is slow. If you're here to do some shopping, get it over with. Sir, you have... You have bad customer service here at your shop. Uh, also, there's a new weapon type that we cannot even come close to affording because we are currently broke as hell. It costs 100,000 yen, which is substantially more than a single delicious egg. Or rather, a single delicious fish. And to make matters even worse, on top of everything else that is so bad here. Oh, this mist does seem to make you feel sick and depressed. <laughs> Act two of Okami hits really differently this these days. Uh, and then to make matters so much worse here in Sand City. The canal is run completely dry because the lake um, is... The, the spring is not running. This city is like Father Edwin Burroughs just getting tag-teamed by all the fears. And before we go deeper into the dig site for the canal, we're going to make our way around this uh, labyrinthian dried up canal bed. Because there's quite... Oh, no. This is not one place we want to make our way to. Uh, so we have the plague. We have the water dragon siege. We have um, the impending drought. Many, many, many problems. Oh, and the curse. I'm so useless. If I don't get to work on the canal with the boss, we won't be able to get water flowing again. Yeah, no. We figured that, Eason. It's not an ordinary mist. Thank you, though. Thank you for your input. You've made valuable contributions today. Bullhorn, there's a good mix of, like, 
things that are actually useful, things that you can just sell for gold and consumables, which sooner or later I should just sell all of those for gold since I probably won't use any of them. <laughs> Wait, why am I saying sell for gold? Sell for yen. Oh, and this is the opposite side of the ferry port. So we're going to jump out of the canal for a little bit. Just to explore nearby. Like, who is this? With the branch growing out of his head. It's Mr. Flower. Is that one of the Mr. Spider characters? Mrs. Blue Bottle, Mr. Fly? Is one of them Mr. Flower? Blossom Protector, Mr. Flower. This cursed mist is covered in the entire area. Yeah, at first we thought it was a thick fog, but then people started falling ill. And the trees withered and rotted. Including his prized cherry blossoms. Oh. Uh, so naturally, let's invade his his private space uh, and eat all of his turnips and steal his savings. Apparently, he was getting ready for the plague to hit by hoarding an orange. He knew it would sell for so much one day. Oops. Uh, and I think we'll dive back in now. Pick up where we left off with the treasure and then we will hit up the dig site. I think we're about done with finding everything. Another lacquerware set. That'll be pretty handy in getting us to that weapon from the shop. If I decide to go with it. I didn't buy the Infinity Judge, but this one is a little bit different. Then again, there are still some things I would rather get from Onigiri Sensei. So, we'll have to see. And who are you, Nagari? The lake has plugged itself up as a result of the water dragon. Canal was a really important source of water for us. That's why I'm digging a hole. I'm the only one left, one lowly, lowly carpenter. It's okay, he's fit though. He's got this. I built almost everything you see in this city. It lies in Lake Biwa's drain plug. Right, so uh, in the tradition of this being Japan, but not Japan, but also Japan, uh, Seon City is called Seon Kyo, which is apparently a pun on Han Kyo, which is Kyoto's old name. Uh, and they both have a Lake Biwa, so this city is modeled entirely after Kyoto. And Nakari is setting up the digging mini game we're gonna have to do. Good thing we got digging, champ. Okay, this one took me a few tries, but I think I finally got this. And I'm gonna get all the spare yen, too. It's one of the things that makes this really worthwhile. Can I get through this before I have to turn him around forcefully? Nope, you're coming with me. A little power slash in. I'm just trying to manage this route so that I take him across as little... Uh, is possible that he, that he can get hurt by. 
Like, I'm trying to not have to babysit him. I want to just deposit him places <laughs> while I get things set up. Like here. I'm not going to water spout him up here until he can't possibly run into the spikes unsupervised. Because he's like a child. We can't leave him alone with the spike blocks. He doesn't see so good these days. Uh, this one? No, let's just put you right over here. Ah, uh, no, we need to get rid of this one. So, let's instead do this, and then I can dig out the sand, and that's a nice little hole that we're going to put Grandpa in. Until... I just realized, why am I bothering coming so far out of my way? I can just bloom this from the other side of the screen. Oh no. That's not going to be worth it. Especially now. Talked all that shit about Grandpa running into spikes. But no. I was the true spike idiot all along. I owe Nagari, uh, an apology. <laughs> oh, don't do the spikes, Nagari. I was just trying to... Oh. Give you credit. We are very close. And it warms my heart to know that the yen bags that I collected from the previous trips doing this... Uh, have stayed in my wallet. Don't have to redo any of this. Okay. Now we have to get him to jump across one more spike block, then we're at the bottom floor, and with plenty of time to spare. The one thing that I didn't realize about this minigame until just recently is that the clock keeps ticking while you're, while you're drawing. I don't think almost anything else uh, works like that in the entire game. For like 99% of the game, while you're drawing with a celestial brush, time is paused. That one actually kind of makes me like the digging game. That one's fun. Because you really have to figure the route out and be careful. What in the hell? I thought I just heard an alarm. Okay. I don't hear it anymore, so... Oh, that's spooky. What are you going to do, though? Ah, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. But, that works fine, too. Oh, I didn't realize it was day out when we arrived in the city. It hardly gets more gloomy now that it's nighttime. Alright, and with that done, we can finally... Oh, did I not talk to you? Hayate. I need to deliver these letters. I'm in so much pain I can't stand up, though. Why does my body have to let me down? There's a theme here of everyone having in common that they're sick and that they're agonized by the fact that because they're sick, they won't be able to work. Go up to the dandy. We don't need to speak to the dandy twice. Lately, the pain's so bad that I seize up when I'm out and about. And past here lies the aristocrats' quarters. Surely this can't be Queen Himiko's doing, but it is suspicious. Hey, 
sees big wigs live across the bridge ahead. That area is crammed full of awesome palaces. One of them belongs to Queen Himiko, ruler of Nippon. You can tell because it's really huge. I have no idea what she's like. But I don't think I'm gonna like her. I mean, she doesn't seem to be doing anything about the mist. Plus, I make it a point to never trust queens and the like anyway. Eason is rad! Hell yeah, never trust royalty. Bridge appears to be out. And this is quite a wonky bridge. Benkei. Last the time is near. Benkei, the fisherman monk, shall lay claim to his 1,000th sword. I clearly see a couple things in there that are not swords. Like, there's there's a whole ass pickaxe. Or a scythe, maybe? Some kind of comma? A comma, perhaps? Uh, and Benkei does not have two brain cells to rub together. He's come here chasing a living sword that swims in Lake Biwa. Living sword swims freely about in this water, and he's gonna catch it and make it his 1,000th sword. And also, somehow he is in charge of the con of, of the mechanism that raises and lowers the bridge. Him alone. And he's decided that until he catches the living sword, Nobody gets to go, uh, to or from the aristocrat quarter. And oh, wouldn't you know it, the merchant in town has a beautiful, uh, fishing rod, pure as the driven snow. And we just happen to have it. It's called Blinding Snow. And we're gonna give it to Benke. There's another problem, though. He doesn't fish. He's going to engage the, the fish and live in mortal combat. Um, I've been holding my rod over the water for a while now and nothing's happened. I've done nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Whatever, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just sit here as long as it takes. So naturally, we have to help Benkei with a mini game. <laughs> so, Eason is going to re tutorialize us for a second on fishing. We don't need it. Nope, 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 nope. Whoop. Oh no, I turned it too far. <laughs> and rule of threes, we need to catch the first two before the third one is what we're looking for. Oh right, maybe we should have let Isun uh, teach us the basics again because I forgot you have to power slash him. We caught smelt. So we just feather it a bit. And is that another smelt? Nope, it's loach. And there's a big boy. Which you can see is a fish and not a sword. And not a sword fish either. And this dude is a little bit more challenging than the rest. And also, it's gonna take three power slashes. So 
as before, we just want to keep things in this green zone, which is not too, too tough to do. And even if you get it in the red for a little bit, your health doesn't drain that quickly. Come on! Come on! There we go. And now Benkei, uh, warrior monk, has caught a cutlass fish. Which is a fish. Gods be praised at last. I fulfilled my dream. Oh, he doesn't know yet. He doesn't know yet. How can he not know yet? So, that's the living sword? Oh. Isin. Isin. Don't try to comfort him right now. But anyway, Monk never goes back on his words, so let's make the bridge passable. Um, and that's the trigger for the bridge. Is his little tantrum-y butt stomp. So that's going to do it <laughs> for today. Thank you all for watching. Oh, hey. That's not good. Well, tag the tornado in for this city's conga line of torment. Uh, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.